Lockheed Martin has always led the industry in military aviation innovation. Their latest creation, the SR-72, promises to uphold this legacy. But can this hypersonic unmanned vehicle surpass its legendary predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird, and reshape the future of American air operations? Let's find out! The SR-71 Blackbird, an iconic reconnaissance aircraft from Lockheed, dominated the skies during the Cold War. Known for its extraordinary performance, the Blackbird flew at 80,000 feet and Mach 3, showcasing a perfect blend of cutting-edge technology and design. The SR-71 Blackbird was more than just a reconnaissance aircraft. It was a marvel of engineering. Capable of reaching speeds of Mach 3.2, it could outrun missiles and reach altitudes of 85,000 feet. Despite its success, the Blackbird was retired by the U.S. Air Force in 1998, though NASA continued to operate the last two airworthy Blackbirds until 1999. The rest of the fleet was moved to museums, except for two preserved by NASA at the Armstrong Flight Research Center. While new fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 Lightning II emerged, the successor to the Blackbird remained a mystery in the mid-2000s, rumors began to circulate about a new aircraft capable of flying at Mach 6. These whispers were confirmed in 2013 when Aviation Week published a statement from Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division about the development of the SR-72. Creating a hypersonic UAV like the SR-72 required a revolutionary engine. Many early attempts to create hypersonic aircraft failed due to high costs and technical challenges. However, Skunk Works claimed to have found an affordable solution. By 2013, Skunk Works, in collaboration with Aerojet Rocketdyne, had been working for over seven years on a combined turbine and hypersonic ramjet engine. This combination would propel the aircraft from rest to speeds of Mach 6 or faster. In 2017, Lockheed's Executive Vice President Rob Weiss confirmed that hypersonic technology had matured, and the company was working with DARPA to bring these capabilities to future developments and the existing fighter fleet. The SR-72's engine, a turbine-based combined cycle system, uses a turbine engine at low speeds and a hypersonic air-breathing engine at high speeds. This system allows the SR-72 to maintain optimal speed throughout its flight. Speeds above Mach 5 introduce significant challenges, particularly with heat and wear resistance. At hypersonic speeds, temperatures become extreme, and standard materials would fail. The SR-72 team utilized high-performance composites, mixtures of carbon, ceramics, and metals, capable of withstanding temperatures over 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. The SR-72's dimensions are similar to the SR-71, measuring over 100 feet in length. Details about its operational altitude and payload remained classified. In 2022, the SR-72 captured public attention again with the release of Top Gun Maverick, featuring the fictional Dark Star hypersonic aircraft. Collaborating with the Skunk Works team, the filmmakers made the mock-up look incredibly realistic, sparking rumors about the SR-72's appearance. Lockheed's CEO Marilyn Hewson stated that the next step for the SR-72 was to integrate its combined cycle engine into a prototype the size of an F-22 fighter jet. This prototype's first flight was projected as early as 2018, with costs estimated at $1 billion. With the U.S. Army working on a secret hypersonic vehicle program, it's possible they might collaborate with Lockheed Martin. Executives have confirmed that the SR-72 could fly as early as 2025, entering service in the early 2030s. Perhaps the test prototype has already set new speed records, waiting for the moment to emerge from secrecy. The SR-72 Darkstar's technical specifications are nothing short of extraordinary. At the heart of the aircraft is its propulsion system, a hybrid engine that combines a traditional jet engine with a scramjet. This innovative design allows the Dark Star to transition seamlessly from subsonic to hypersonic speeds, reaching velocities beyond Mach 6. The scramjet engine, short for supersonic combustion ramjet, operates efficiently at hypersonic speeds, enabling the aircraft to cover vast distances in a matter of minutes. In terms of speed and altitude, the Dark Star far surpasses its predecessor, the SR-71. 
While the Blackbird could cruise at Mach 3, the Dark Star can achieve speeds over Mach 6, making it one of the fastest aircraft ever developed. Its operational altitude is similarly impressive, capable of reaching heights above 90,000 feet. These capabilities allow the Dark Star to perform missions that were previously considered impossible, penetrating deep into enemy territory and gathering intelligence with unparalleled speed and accuracy. The Dark Star's design also incorporates the latest advancements in stealth technology. Its angular shape and advanced materials help to minimize its radar cross-section, making it virtually invisible to enemy radar systems. The aircraft is coated with radar-absorbent materials that further reduce its detectability. Combined with its high speed and altitude capabilities, the Dark Star is an elusive and formidable asset in the skies. Inside the cockpit, or rather the control center, as the Dark Star is an unmanned aircraft, the technology is equally advanced. The Dark Star is equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and surveillance equipment, capable of capturing high-resolution images and real-time data from its missions. The aircraft's autonomous systems allow it to operate independently, making split-second decisions and adjusting its flight path as needed. The initial skepticism surrounding the SR-72 began to dissipate as more information about the project became available. In 2018, the US Air Force and Lockheed Martin held a press conference to provide an official update on the SR-72. The aircraft, now officially named the Dark Star, was revealed to the public for the first time. The Dark Star's design was nothing short of awe-inspiring. Sleek, angular, and futuristic, it looked like something out of a science fiction movie. The aircraft's sharp lines and advanced stealth features were immediately noticeable, designed to minimize radar cross-section and evade detection. The Dark Star was not just a technological marvel, it was a work of art, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of excellence. The media coverage of the Dark Star's unveiling was extensive. News outlets around the world reported on the event, showcasing the aircraft's impressive specifications and potential capabilities. Aviation enthusiasts, military analysts, and the general public were all captivated by the Dark Star. The excitement was palpable, as people began to realize the true potential of this groundbreaking aircraft. Public reaction to the Dark Star was overwhelmingly positive. The idea of an aircraft that could travel at hypersonic speeds and carry out critical missions with unmatched precision was exhilarating. For many, the Dark Star represented a new era in aviation, a leap forward that would redefine the boundaries of what was possible. When do you think we'll see the new device from Skunk Works? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.